Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the void operator. So the void operator, you know, you attach it to some sort of function and it returns, you know, undefined. You might be wondering why would you want it to return undefined? Sometimes you require that result. So if you want to, you know, perform some code and you need to have a return of undefined void is the great it is the route to go. Okay, so let's create a little, what should we do, what should we do? Yeah, let's just create a quick H1, so on click, we'll say, we'll call this void func, void's a reserved keyword, so we can't use that, so we'll call it void func, we need to void to capital V. And call this void, and here we'll put. So what you do, you do void, then function, then your function name. So it's void func, open close bracket, curly braces. Just one thing, because this is like an operator method, you have to have another set of open closing brackets and a semicolon here. You could put it all on one line, but just a little, I think, better like this. So let's see what happens. So if I do a console.log, like so, and we do, 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 do. You know what, I'm not gonna do it on click. I'm not gonna do it on click at all. So I'm actually gonna remove that. I'm going to take this, I'll just take it to this file. And I'm actually going to manually call the function myself. So I'm going to say void func. The console log, I'm going to say hi. So reload says hi, but then it says uncaught reference error void func is not defined. So even though void func is actually defined here, because we put the keyword, so if I actually get rid of that, Oh yeah, it's, it's this extra little bit here that's messing it up. There we go. So if you know you want to be able to run some piece of code, but then you need a a response that says it's undefined, you know you, you may need that for some sort of error checking using some sort of try catch block. Then the void operator is the way to go. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.